everyone it is currently just around like 10 30 and i decided to vlog today it's raining and it's a nice gloomy day i clearly look like i just woke up i've actually been up for about an hour i've been working on my website i have two web design classes one is programming for the web environment the other one is just basic web design nothing really basic about it it's basically learning html css and java um java script i should say java script and did you know that it's called javascript because the guy who came up with it thought java was trendy so he's like you know what let's just call this javascript yes good morning so that's why it's called javascript i am currently getting a cup of coffee because i'm out of celsius but luckily i have some cold brew and some vanilla creamer but i don't have any whipped cream i mean i got some pumpkin whipped cream but it's almost gone what could i use instead So yeah, I'm gonna get myself a cup of coffee and get back into my office and keep working on this website maybe. Actually, you might watch a couple YouTube videos to kind of get motivated and let this coffee kick in. We'll see where the day takes us. coffee has been made. It is basically just a cold brew with vanilla soy creamer. Like I said, I'm out of Celsius. Your girl's struggling. And I had a lot to do today. I need to clean my house. The neighbors are outside. Every now and then when I hear noises outside, it kind of throws me off as if I don't live in a community. I'm like, what is that? Why are you home? But nah, my neighbor is a really cool guy. He works for the Water Authority and just super kind and friendly and this family is so nice. But yeah, so we haven't like chatted in a while. And so I gotta update you guys on a few things. My internship ended November 3rd. So, oh my God, this cat, <laughs> be right back. Anyways, where was I? So yeah. My internship ended on November 3rd. It was such an amazing experience and I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity. I'm actually probably one of their longest staying like interns for like these kind of programs because like an internship is only supposed to be 10 weeks. I was there since like April. So I was there like seven to nine months. I'm not gonna do math right now because the cat is still meowing. And to be honest, as much as I love her, it kind of just drives me insane. But, after, but I do plan on... Hey, Mama. You coming to sing to me? Yeah, that's what I thought. So my next steps from here are to, one, obviously focus on school right now, and to maybe look for another internship. I did get permission from my web design professor uh, to take a design internship, so he sent me a list of companies who I may be interested in interning with. There is a game company on the list and I'm just like, eee. so I gotta work on my resume and all that fun stuff. I do have all my classes picked out for next semester. 
life's just been really hectic on that kind of note like what has been going on i feel like i don't talk to you guys often anymore and it's probably feel that way just because like october did not go as planned if you guys watched my last vlog you know i had covid my whole house had covid and we were so sick all month do not step on my keyboard and so maybe that's what threw me off because i feel like i just really haven't sat down to plan my stuff anymore or lately i don't think i've done a notion in forever and I just, I need to get my life together. I need to clean my house. I need to plan out my life. I need, I made a bunch of phone calls today because I'm a grown up and I got business to do. And just gotta touch base with people. You know how it is. So I'm just actually gonna drink my coffee, let it kick in, watch a couple YouTube videos and maybe get back to programming. I really need to come up with a design for my webpage. I need to make two of them. distracted and one thing led to another so I was watching YouTube and I was watching one of my favorite girls and she was making food and I'm like oh I want to make some food so I'm gonna make some food but it takes an hour to cook the rice I don't think I have any instant rice so I got it distracted again I had to do FOSPA things which is like student aid financial aid stuff and excuse me it didn't really make sense because they're like oh it doesn't say you submitted it so I went in, resubmitted everything, so I can get aid for next semester. And then I'm like, oh, I'll just fill out the applications for the following year just to do it. Well, I don't have that information. I need to wait for Jerry to get home so I can get like tax information, which is kind of obnoxious. Oh, I'm starving. I, just, I did have a yogurt for breakfast. I did have that. But I, I want some instant rice. I have instant potatoes. Actually. What I'm gonna do, because there's a specific thing I'm craving, and it's rice with an egg, soy sauce, and sesame oil. I got a thing of rice right here. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna heat this up, I'm gonna cook an egg. That way I don't have to wait an hour. And basically it'll be my lunch. And the whole thing with, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, Shiloh's bus change. They call me back, oh, it can't start till the 4th because they can't do it on Friday, which is the 1st. So we might just pick her up on Friday because that's annoying. Because they can't drop her off on a place that doesn't have grown-ups. That's not how that works. I don't fly with me. I am super mom as I try to open this race. One second. Oh, that was rude. Guys, come on. Why? Stay. Let me open my rice. Cheers. Perfect. Look at the yummies. I cannot wait to eat it. I'm gonna go pop it in the microwave. But anyway, I have like three weeks of school, so I'm just trying to make sure I get everything in, get motivated to do the stuff I need to do. And for some reason, I just haven't been motivated. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if it's just burnout, but I'm not enjoying it. Like, I can't get myself to do anything besides like drink caffeine to get me going. Um, I can't always do that because I don't have the money. So I'm drinking coffee. I don't usually drink coffee. Like, I do love coffee. You guys have been watching me for a while. You know I love coffee. I just don't usually drink it anymore. But maybe I should be a coffee girly again. Because Celsius's are a bit expensive, and 
To be honest, I've been having like Starbucks every day. I love my Starbucks. I don't know, there's like that whole controversial with them. But I'm gonna cook up this egg and yeah, the, the rice has like a minute to cook. So let me do that and I'll be back with you. tell you how excited I am for this because I kind of forgot about it like this recipe it's basically just white rice with sesame oil um soy sauce an egg <laughs> uh green onions and sesame seeds and it's so good and it's so healthy for you I feel like I used to eat this all the time and I cannot wait to just dig in and eat it I did make myself a to a to-do list for today while I was watching you, Yoon, Yoon Kai, that's her channel. Um, Cause I was just kind of thinking of all the things I needed to get done. And I did a lot of like the more personal stuff off camera, obviously, but for today, I need to tidy up, vacuum my house, work on the web pages, which I'm still procrastinating on doing, dishes and tidy up my office. So I'm gonna eat my lunch first, watch a little more YouTube. It's currently 11.50 and I'm starving. I'm still working on my coffee. It's so good, I'm not gonna lie. It's, like I said, cold brew with vanilla. Love my coffee. I don't know why, oh, I don't drink it a lot because IBS and energy drinks like Celsius, come on. Like, what are you doing? Like, if you're not drinking Celsius, what are you doing? But that's subjective, actually. If you have heart problems, I recommend not drinking Celsius because, you know, I go bake or go home. I drink like two a day. It, it literally says on the can, don't drink more than two a day. Have I? Yes. Did I regret it? Also yes. Will I do it again? Triple yes. Why? Because I need that motivation. Caffeine is motivation. Wow. Anyways, I'm just gonna watch YouTube, eat my lunch, um, then after, we'll tidy up. Do some fun stuff. <laughs> Lunch was delicious and it is so easy to make and so simple, but I really gotta get moving. I'm gonna take a break from coding and clean my house. My cat is licking herself. So I'm just dragging my tripod out into the living room. It's really dark and gloomy in here. So I'm just gonna quickly speed through this, put you guys on time lapse and get that done. Cause I really gotta tidy up and just kinda situate, situ situate my house situation. 
being a homeowner is not easy especially with such like I don't, to me it's a big house to some people it's not it's just a cape cod but it's nice but living with two other people is super hard to keep things clean like the tables are let me just show you so that's the current state of my table couch zoom out a little bit and tables where you at cat what are you doing don't get on my table yeah she do that but i got a vacuum the guinea pigs um so, well, there's a little bit of hay on the ground so we gotta get that cleaned up because to me that's a little gross and like yeah that's the current situation and that's just the living room like the dining room isn't too bad but I do want to do like a vacuum. Like this isn't a deep clean. I'm definitely not deep cleaning today. I'm just tidying up and getting situated. Um, and it looks like I need to bring my bins in as well, which means I have to go out in the rain. Maybe I'll wait for it to kind of break for a bit before I head out there to get the bins. So yeah, let's get this tidied up. Sup humans, so it's the next day. I got distracted yesterday, of course, but we went grocery shopping and got that all taken care of and that out of the way. Oh, and by the way, I got pigtails today. They're so cute. I haven't done my hair like this in forever. But anyway, I um, just finished up some of my coursework in MindTap. That was for my internship class. And then I like remembered I was vlogging yesterday. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna do more schoolwork today. I'm gonna continue to build my website. And I should probably also keep vlogging. Today is Saturday. It's almost lunchtime. It's like 11.44 right now. And I did get the house cleaned up yesterday. I didn't get to cleaning the bathroom, which I'll do that another time. And I was happy about that. But after that, Jerry called me. He's like, hey, we gotta go grocery shopping. I'm like, okay, I wanna go shopping too. I got a bunch of Celsius. So clearly your girl's having a good morning. The one I'm currently drinking is mango passion fruit this is one of my favorites i think i like them all <laughs> but i also have a cup of coffee cheers and i love my coffee gotta have it with my celsius not really but probably too much caffeine but i gotta get this website built and i have been procrastinating on it <sighs> i don't know why but i am no, like it's not I just creative block like I don't know where to go with it like I got my YouTube um, page kind of like to talk about my YouTube channel I have a home page I have a resume page and I have a page about my cats oh, I want to link to my Instagram because I'm a social media influencer or no I'm a content creator I like that but I didn't influence I'm not trying to get you guys to buy stuff because um, I'm broke and I hate I I don't know if anyone else does this. I know Jerry does, 
But the moment I kind of identify someone's trying to sell something to me in their videos, I kind of skip past the sponsored part. And I love when creators actually have breaks in between. So I'm like, okay, it starts here, you skipped here. So I might start doing that for my sponsored videos. I do have one coming up probably at the end of December, beginning of January. And I obviously promote products that I enjoy, like the cat fountain that I got in my previous video. I still need to make a video for that because that's supposed to be going up in a ad for the company. I just wish I knew how to pronounce their name. So I gotta film that today and I gotta get this done because I have to do this personal website but I also need to convert my, for my design class, I have to convert my Figma wireframe to HTML and make that look like a fake website and actually host it on my website, which is heatherstevens.tech. That if you guys are interested in following me along during that class, head over there because it's like a website I'm paying for and I'm gonna be using it as a portfolio. And it's also gonna be transferring over to next semester because I'm gonna be taking the second design class for this. And because for my major, I do have a concentration in web design. And I'm also gonna be looking for some design internships a little bit later, so you might see me doing that. But right now, I am gonna sit here and code this website and look up some design ideas. And I'm gonna struggle with it. I'm gonna struggle with filming. And today's gonna be hard when it comes to vlogging because I'm not good at all those cinematic angles and stuff because I get really caught up in the filming part well, not the filming, but the coding part, so I'll forget I'm vlogging. So we'll figure out how much I can actually film while I build this website. I'm gonna do this for now because I wanna show you guys my website so far. It is very empty. This is the homepage. Part of the assignment was to have like a crooked picture, so I slightly angled this one. I put the things I like because I needed a group box here, and that's the homepage. This is my resume page. It's supposed to be I did include some JavaScript, but it currently don't work. When you click on this, it's supposed to generate a PDF file. Got my cat page, Instagram. You guys already know that. If you're not following me, what are you doing? And then I have my YouTube page, but I need to add more to it because like I just currently have my desk set up video. So I'm gonna be adding more to all of these pages and getting this all coded and structured and maybe running running my um, my like text um, my about me section and stuff through ChatGPT to make it sound nicer because I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. Though I need to go for technical writing, which is an online class. Um, but I already have five classes picked out. I could do six, right? I could do six classes. Uh, but so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I should have been doing. I was doing it yesterday but then I got busy and distracted. But I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna get it done. Because this month, I literally have like three weeks of class, not including the coming week because Thanksgiving. Yay, turkey, tofurkey. Yeah, let's get coding. I have been working for hours on this project right now. I'm currently creating a contact me form to meet some of the requirements for the, uh, I'm on checkpoint three, just basically continuing to add things like I added a PHP form and that way you can submit it to a server. The server is hosted by my professor, so it is all safe and secure. I am gonna use the website that I got for my design class, which is from like Namecheap, I think, which I don't know, a little sketchy, but 
they trust it so I guess I have to I already paid for it so I have to but I've been coding I've been doing CSS HTML I haven't even bothered with Java right now I'm just going through the rubrics trying to is that what's called rubrics trying to check off all the things so I can get all those points and yeah right now the contact form looks like that let's get up close so here is the website that I was constructing recently this is a contact form and it has like the contact me name last name email and what you want to say and yeah that is that one let's pull up another one let's do this one I'm gonna exit this one first but then this is the main page I have not linked the other one yet and but this is the main page it is a little complicated I have to move this picture still I just haven't gotten around to it but I made all of my text go to the left and things I liked because I had to have this text box to meet the requirements and that's my home um what else do I got got my resume page let's see if I can inspect that go to the resume and then this is all of my resume stuff and then I've been working on my cat page because like check out my cats and I got all of their information a little bit about their stories and then over here in the follow me it's coming soon but I'm gonna have all of my socials linked on here now keep in mind this is not a live website and it is still a work in progress hence the uh, messiness of it but I do use Visual Studio to code and there's all my pages up here got my this is the index HTML which is the home page my media page which is the pink one I don't need the JSON one contact form I was currently working on the resume HTML and then the cat one but I've been literally at this for hours I'm not gonna complain I like what I do I like building this there's a lot I still need to do like the reason I switched into the expected mode is because my picture is up too high for me to click on the check out my cats link and the resume link which drives me nuts and I don't know why it does that because no matter what I do it don't move like I can't even click on my resume page and I don't know why what is wrong with you there's nothing in front of it I don't understand I'll figure it out though I mean I have to right but yeah that is what I've been doing so far I feel like I really like front-end development more than back-end and like I do want to be a full stack so it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with in all that back-end I am registered for a Python class next semester in MAT 241 it is technically a math class but it is just Python and I'm hoping it'll help me I do also want to learn PHP, but they're not offering it next semester, which they should be. Whoops. But yeah, I am going to take a break because I've been at this since 11 o'clock. So I've been like coding for like five, six hours. And my eyes can use a break. And people have been pestering me and bothering me. Be like, what are you doing in here? Why is your door shut? I'm like, I'm recording for one. Two, I'm coding. Don't want to be bothered. But... I need a break. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do for that break. Oh, I got a really cute sticker. I got it from Sheen. Don't come for me. I know some of you people are like, you shop at Sheen? I do for stickers. Look how cute it is. Look at it. It's so cute. I wanna come out with my own stickers. Let me show you the other two I got. Why? Because cats. Got this one. Love it. Now, I didn't go through all the stickers I got because I gave them to Shiloh. But me and her really love these spooky cat stickers. And I put the strawberry cat that I just showed you on the strawberry notebook that was gifted to me for my birthday, but one by one of my really good friends. If you're watching this, love you. Hi, bestie. But I'll talk to you guys a little later. Once again, forgot I was vlogging, grabbing my best friend here. So I'm about to make dinner and you guys don't wanna miss this. Way to zoom out. No, it doesn't zoom out anymore. Hmm. I know why I wasn't facing the right way, or seemed right, or shrinking, or whatever it was I was just saying. Because usually I have my phone so I could see the screen, but I find it zooms out better when I'm not being able to see myself and the back is facing me. But anyways, I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm gonna make some Roma, and I'm inspired by my favorite little store or shop or restaurant. 
at the Buffalo State Retail Center or the Student Union because I absolutely love Sushi Do's ramen. Now, I know mine will not be as good as Sushi Do's, but I am craving ramen. With that said, let's get cooking. Earlier I baked some clay for Shiloh. She made a cute little strawberry and that's why this was sitting out and me being me just kinda left it there. I tend to do that a lot. You'll notice that if you watch my vlogs. I mean, it has a recycling symbol on it, but it says 6 in PS, so I'm not really sure if the egg carton is recycled or not. Actually, I share it. Oh, I hate bloating here. Because that's what happens. You're, well, you're allowed to eat. You're definitely allowed to eat. What am I getting? A cutting board. That's what I'm getting. Is that good food? Uh, cucumber. This is another thing that bothers me. You see it's in a plastic bag, right? Now this is Wegmans. Wegmans is, I think, a Western New York thing, but it's in a plastic bag. It's individually wrapped plastic. But why? For what? What purpose? these so much but this is edamame and I got a whole bag full and like why did no one introduce these to me when I was a kid? Like what? I'm glad Shiloh liked edamame and other things but I'm not boiled so much. That was so much. That's okay. Then we will get eaten. It will. Definitely not eating it.
I'm so excited for dinner. Like, I got the tofu cut up over there. Our edamames are in that pan, and then ramen behind me. And then I put the cucumbers and the carrots out on the table already. Shiloh's already munching on the spring rolls. Let's see if she likes them. Shiloh, do you like the spring rolls? Are they good with the soy sauce? So cute. Um, but I'm gonna clean off this table because there's a lot of like unnecessary things on the dining table right now. Unless Shiloh wants to help me set up the table. But probably not because she's just sitting there eating spring rolls. <laughs> I know. I also need more paper towels. This table is always covered with things and stuff, things and stuff. <laughs> Ramen is almost done. I'm gonna get the table set up and get everyone drinks and all that fun stuff, kind of like setting the table. I don't know, I don't usually set the table, but I'm gonna do it family style tonight. Like I'm gonna obviously fill up everyone's bowls with ramen and then I'm gonna put like edamame, carrots, cucumbers and everything else just around it. That way people can help themselves and pick whatever they want. So I have these really cute Studio Ghibli chopsticks I wanted to show you guys because they're one just super cute. This one, these purple ones are Gigi, the green ones are Totoro, and then pink Gigi's. These ones are my favorite because they like, kind of remind me of like strawberries, but I also love the purple ones too because I love purple. But yeah, I want to show you guys these because they're so cute. Totoro or Gigi? Gigi. Okay. So this is a very special moment for both of us, for me and you. I've never made soft boiled eggs in my life and I'm gonna cut them open and we're gonna see if I finally did. I watched someone do it on YouTube and the timer they set was for seven and a half minutes. I usually leave mine in for like 10 to like 15. I know that's probably wrong, but <laughs> so we're gonna cut them open and see how they came out. Here we go. Let's see how bad this is. Oh, okay. Like they're not like drippy, but they're definitely like, soft boiled. Ooh. You know what? I was about to try to make poached eggs. You just boil it, I think. Oh, that looks so good. Mmm. I gotta assemble this ramen. I'm starving. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited for ramen. Yeah, mom, it's done. Ramen's done. Time to assemble the bowls. Every time I go to record, I end up taking a picture of myself. So maybe I should start just using those as like the title thumbnail for my videos. But I got Shiloh's bowl of ramen here and I'm about to load it with lots of veggies. And I figured you guys can help me. I so far have put egg in it because everyone loves eggs. Not really, but, but I'm going to load it with a lot of vegetables. You're going to hear her in the background. She's on the phone with her friend. What's up guys, happy Sunday. Uh, I didn't record after I made dinner last night, so another day, another coding project. I'm just still working on my website. Um, I'm refining it and stuff and trying to like get everything to look consistent and stuff like that. I do need to work on that Figma project today though. So I have a lot of work to do. It's currently 11.54, so it's almost lunchtime. I've been at this for maybe a half hour now. We kind of got up late. I got up at like nine. And then I watched some YouTube with Shiloh. She was watching Lauren Z side. Love you, girl. And now Shiloh's upstairs playing Roblox, Jerry's in the shower, and I need to get some work done. But yeah, the ramen last night was so yummy. Like I know it was very basic. It was a vegetarian-based ramen. And 
but it was so good. And like I said, it was like a sushi dough imitation. I cannot wait to make like a imitation poke bowl. Sorry, just reading my text messages because one popped up on my computer screen, one here, and then yeah, so it's just, I just did it. I just wrote an email to Professor Carbonaro asking him to let me in. Oh, Vicky, I really hope you can get in. I'm sure she'll definitely get in because, I don't know, because Professor Carbonaro is so nice. I've met him a couple times, but he's my Python teacher. I'm pretty sure I've talked to you guys about me wanting to take a Python class and enrolling on one. Um, it's next semester, it's an MAT class, so math, yay. And it's like a higher level, so I'm really hoping there's not a level like math in it a lot. I'm really hoping there's not a lot of math in it. I mean, it is Python and I'm just gonna have to like deal with it because I'm not the biggest math girly, but I need Python. Uh, I struggled with math my whole life, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot to that statement, but I struggled with a lot of things for a lot of reasons. But we won't get into that now because this is just a weekend vlog and i really hope you guys are enjoying it so far but right now i am still working on the website gotta get this done so i hope you guys enjoy coding with me for a little while and i'm probably gonna have leftovers for lunch since it is four minutes till lunch time coding all day i didn't really get much footage of it but i am so tired if you can't tell by me being in bed with my cat at three o'clock in the afternoon i'm actually gonna take a small nap so if you guys have made it this far in the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a cat emoji since my kitty is right here and she's just all lovey dovey and cute but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and spending the weekend with me i really got <laughs> so tired but it was so good to catch up with you i plan on releasing still one video a week so yeah i'll see you guys all in the next one